Hey, so why don't we welcome everybody to our uh, Bomb TV coffee break? How about that, Elizabeth? Why don't we do that? That's what we're here for, right? <laughs> hey, so um, I'm Maria, and that's Elizabeth, and we're excited that you're joining us for this um, kind of short, impromptu Mom TV coffee break. And um, we're excited because the coffee break is sponsored by. One of my favorite brands, Life is Good. Life is Good Coffee, right? It just came out, huh, Elizabeth? Yes, it just came out, and I know that you had promoted on your blog and in some other places this past week they had they gave away 8,000 cups of their coffee at Penn Station in New York City, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, and some of our um, blogger friends attended the event, and you're right, I did write about it. I I love um, I love life is good. I love their T-shirts. I love what they stand for. It just it's a feel good brand. And um, so when they came out with coffee, it just kind of made sense, right? For the brand, it makes you feel good. Makes sense that they would come out with a great coffee. Yeah, definitely. So we're gonna so we're gonna give. So Elizabeth is the keeper of the prizes. If you guys know, um, normally during a mom TV, I keep her in the back and she uh, will select names for prizes. But today I decided to let her come in front of the camera with me and uh, because she's so good. You know, like she represents the young moms. I represent the older moms. It's kind of like a yin and a yang. She's got twin girls. I have a lot of kids, you know, so it just works out well. And people like your new haircut, by the way, Elizabeth. Oh, it's not really, it's not really new. I get my haircut every four weeks, so. Well, <laughs> I if I let you in a short hairstyle. If I let you come um, in front of the camera more often, then people would know when your hair, look, my, I got my haircut yesterday. Nobody, like, mentioned my haircut. <laughs> um, it's got this, like, little, like, layered thing going on here. Um, Hey, so um, we're, uh, Life is Good gave us some bags and some goodies to give away today. So why don't you tell us what, what we're giving away? So everybody that wins today is going to get a Life is Good bag. Um, this is like a reusable grocery bag to the bag, which is awesome. And in it will come a bag of their new coffee, which we'll talk about all of the new flavors in just a minute. Um, you get a coffee mug, like the one that I'm drinking out of, it says life is good. And then on the back of mine it says do what you like, like what you do. Yay! I like that. And then also in the bag is a life is good t-shirt. And these t-shirts are so soft, I, it's just unbelievable. I know. I, I really wanted to steal one of those bags and only give away a couple today, but you were watching and I didn't do it over the weekend when you were out of the office. So, um, <laughs> so I got, uh, I wasn't able to do that, but that t-shirt is, I had my eyes on that. So, um, you know, I was just thinking about it and it's that time of the afternoon and, and Elizabeth, cause your babies are so little or young, you haven't gotten to this stage yet, but I was kind of like looking at the clock and I'm like, okay, it's three o'clock in the afternoon. It's about that time where I I just rushed out of the office. That's why I'm at home. I rushed out of the office to go pick my daughter up from school. I was praying that the cars ahead of me in the carpool lane would like their kids would just get in the car and they would move so that I could be home by three o'clock. So it's like this is the hour where the rush starts and. It's also about the time when you start losing your energy and, you know, we forget to snack, we forget to have a cup of coffee, we, we forget that we need a little bit kind of like picker-upper. And then, you know, when you do get home from the carpool, like right now, I'm like, okay, she's going to clean her room and she's going to do her homework. And I'm going to pray that happens so that we can start up all of the activities in about an hour, right? So I have this like little window where I could have a cup of coffee or a snack or whatever. So what do you do? You go online, you cruise through Facebook, you, I mean, okay, first of all, let me just tell you 
what I did with my five minutes that I just had, okay? Y'all stay with me on this one. So I go on Facebook. I see a couple interesting things. I read um, Lindsay's blog, Suburban Diva, on Juan Pablo. Like, that was productive, right? I mean, I'm happy I read her blog, and she's very funny, but what the hell do I need to read about Juan Pablo for at 3 o'clock in the afternoon when I could be doing something that's on my list that I haven't gotten to yet, right? Anyway, so I gave Juan Pablo a few minutes. I gave Lindsay some uh, traffic to her site because I reposted it on my Facebook page. Then I go to Yahoo because I've got to know what happened with that Malaysian airline, okay? Are you obsessed with that? Have you gotten into it? so weird. Oh, my God. I just, I don't oh. understand. Every day about this time, I, like, go to Yahoo to see what the heck is going on with the Malaysian airline. Are you ready for this one? Okay, so yesterday at 3 o'clock, I was captivated by the fact that some of the family members are dialing the phones of their loved ones, and they're, like, picking up and then being hung up, right? Okay, so that's freakazoid. Does any of this remind you of that series Lost? Because right about now, it's making me wonder, right, what island they're on? Okay, so here's the 3 o'clock update today. Some fishermen in that strait, wherever that strait is in the um, China Sea and the Indian Ocean, they found a life raft, a damaged life raft, some fishermen, okay? And they say that on the side of it, it said boarding, okay? So they tied it to their boat, hoping that they could get it to shore, right? Somehow the life the like life preserver, the lifeboat, sank into the ocean before they could get it on board their boat. Okay, so now, now you got to wonder. No offense to anyone, but you have Chinese or Malaysian um, fishermen out there who can read English, and the 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 raft um, the raft sinks before they can actually get it. So now we don't really have proof that there was a life raft, but we have these fishermen who said that they tied a life raft to their boat and it may or may not be there. I mean, it's crazy. Can't we just get one fact? <laughs> it's crazy. They're all mixed up and it's hard to really know what's true and what's speculated and what's just made up. It's, it's confusing and scary. Do you think the plane ever, do you, do you think the plane ever took off? I mean, I assume it did, but I don't know. Yeah. It's just so weird. I don't know. I don't know. Why don't, why don't we give one of those bags away? Why don't you tell us something about the coffee and let's uh, give one of those bags away? Sure. I'm going to tell you guys about the flavors of coffee they have, and then you tell me which one um, you would like to try, and I'll just randomly pick somebody uh, from, from the comments. So the different flavors, they have a light-hearted coffee, a happy medium, a dark and daring, s'more to love, and banana mm -hmm. bread split. So I'm going to tell you about each of those. The one that I'm drinking right now is the s'more to love. And this one, their description for it, is a rich campfire classic that features melty chocolate, graham cracker, and fluffy marshmallow flavors. And it smells and tastes amazing. When I was making it, Shauna came out. Um, she's my office mate. And she came out and was like, what? what is that smell? It is amazing. It's so good. And then the other one that I have sitting here, which I haven't tried yet, is the Happy Medium. And that's just a medium roast coffee. Um, pretty standard coffee. I'm sure that's delicious, too. Um, hey, Elizabeth, yeah. can you get someone to answer the phone there in the office? Just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I was not even paying attention to it. <laughs> it might be our clients. No, go on. <laughs> They're like, tell them about our coffee. Um, another one that... Uh, I haven't had to try, but I obviously really want to try is the banana bread bliss. And it's supposed to take like, taste like bananas and brown sugar and just be a comforting, cozy coffee. And that sounds right up my alley. Maybe not like for a breakfast coffee, but definitely for a coffee break coffee. That sounds uh, amazing to me. But I'm pretty sure somebody today is going to get to win that. So that's fun. So Elizabeth, um Full disclosure, everybody kind of knows about me that um, I have never had a cup of coffee in my entire life. Um, well, one time I had a Bailey's 
Irish coffee drink when I was underage, but we're not going to talk about that one because that didn't count. But so tell me, like, I hear the word like rich and flavorful. Like, how does this compare with other coffees? Uh, well, the s'mores one definitely. I don't usually drink flavored coffees. I'm just kind of a a plain coffee drinker. And um, yeah, you're kind of plain. Uh, wah, wah. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> um, no, you know, I don't. Uh, normally, I also drink my coffee iced. I mean, we're in Florida. Um, sometimes it's just too hot for hot coffee, but I'll drink hot coffee if I'm having dessert. But so this is sort of like a dessert coffee because it has the s'mores uh, flavor and that's kind of what it reminds you of. And so it's just, this one is much more flavorful. I would definitely need to try their light and their medium and their dark coffees to kind of see how that compares to most coffees that I drink. But if they're anything like this, they're absolutely delicious. Okay, so do you want to pick a winner? Yes, the person winner? that won our first gift bag is Erin Myers. So Erin, email me. I will put my email in the chat. It's elizabeth at bsmmedia.com and we will ship your bag to you. Cool. So we got some more bags to give out and um, let's talk. So let's talk a little bit about um, where you get this coffee because I, I saw pictures of the um, coffee house in um, Penn Station. It was just beautiful the, that they set up. Yeah, there you go. Um, it's really, really amazing um, how cozy. I mean, can you imagine this is in the middle of Penn Station? Um, so where can, um, where can folks buy the, the product? Yeah, it retails for $7.99 for an 11 ounce bag um, like these. And it's available at grocery stores nationwide, but you can also buy it at lifeisgood.com. And I know right now they're doing a special if you buy three bags, but I don't remember how much it was. <laughs> but but there's a special try, going on. Yeah, if you want to try multiple flavors, you can go to their website and order it right from there. Um, and you don't even have to go to the grocery store. And then here's a picture of all the different kinds of coffee they have. So you can also see what the bag looks like if you do go mm. to your store and um, want to pick it up there. So it's really this would coffee. be like a, yeah, oh, well, I mean, everything that Life is Good does is so cute. I mean, I have my, I wear my little Life is Good running shirt and my kids love Life is Good and your, the quality is just so, yeah, so I, awesome. I, I mean, those, those like t-shirts. T-shirts, yeah, they last forever. They never, ever, ever wear out. They're so awesome. And they only get the um, ball. Yeah, I know. And I love that purple one that, that I tried to steal, but you're giving away today. So why don't you give another one away, and, um, and then we can talk more about the 3 o'clock bewitching hour. All right. So um, everyone in the chat, why don't you tell us why you needed a coffee break today? What is going on in your day that you just need the five minutes to sit down and have a cup of coffee and not have anybody bothering you so you can just enjoy it. <laughs> so tell us about that. <laughs> and then we will give away <laughs> you're a mom. Yeah. That's, that's I know. Like, what well, part of that is like, I, you know, I got to tell you, you are so lucky. I know this is hard to believe since you have twins who are six months old and I know you swear they sleep through the night, but every mom says that. Um, so I'm not really believing you on that one, but I will kind of believe you, okay? Um, but I, listen, I have had guests at my house for three weekends in a row, and they have all slept wonderfully because my babies, knock on wood, are so good. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, everybody in the chat room, let's just chime in here with, is, is she like the typical like new mom? Oh, my babies are perfect. Okay, well, let me tell you what the reality is when they get to be my kid's age, okay? So just fast forward yourself like 10 years until like how many of you moms right now are faced with homework that you don't understand, book reports that you're gonna have to help with in the next hour, casserole dinners that you're gonna have to try to make and um, serve to your family as you're driving down the road to get to whatever lesson your kids have or sporting events. I mean, not to mention your college kids. Yeah, Kelly. 
Um, college kids, oh my God, their problems are like this big. It's amazing. So count your blessings right now because um, the three o'clock hour for moms with homework stinks and you definitely need a coffee break. Okay. I got it all out now, Elizabeth. Do you want right. to talk about coffee? <laughs> well, our next winner of another bag is Sherry Bracey. So Sherry, congratulations. Email me at elizabeth at bsnmedia.com and we will send your bag out to you so you can enjoy your coffee break. Okay, and, um, and I just want to remind everybody that you can get Life is Good Coffee at retailers across the United States or go to the website. You can pick up a t-shirt while you're there or a birthday gift or you know, graduation gift, Easter's coming, and, and I'm sure you can put, I see college kids in there, you could put a t-shirt in, in a care package to them. Um, before we wrap up, we have one more, right, Elizabeth? We want to have one more bag to give out? Yep. Okay, see, I was, I was going to try to avoid giving out that bag, but I figured you would probably have gone, wait, I got one more bag. Um, before we, um, uh, whatever, close out this coffee break, um, let's talk about Mom TV because we have a lot of really awesome stuff going on with Mom TV and I want everybody to come back not only for these coffee breaks and mom meetups that we have, but um, what do we got like what do we got going on this month? Yeah, we have um, more mom meetups which uh, if you you have to follow Mom TV on Twitter, on Facebook, if you're not already a member of the website, it's really easy to join. All, you can even just sign up with your Facebook account, which I'm sure everyone probably already has, and you don't even have to fill out another form or remember another password. You just log in with your Facebook. And um, so that way you can stay on top of all the different things that we have coming up. I know we have more um, mom meetups around the Mom's Night Out movie coming up, mm -hmm. and um, which is, we had one. Uh, yesterday, and that was a lot of fun. And um, I'm trying to think what else. I know we have some other hosts other than Maria who are going to be having shows later in the month. And um, but you can just stay on top of all of that if you visit and, the website or follow us on social media. And don't forget to upload your videos. Like even if you have them on YouTube, put them on Mom TV, which is really easy to do. It's just a matter of cutting and pasting the URL, and um, I mean we boot you own the you own the content, and we um, we just help you distribute it to other moms. And um, Elizabeth, we've seen some moms get a lot of views on their videos just by uh, putting them on Mom TV as well as YouTube, haven't we? Definitely, because you know sometimes, uh, well, sometimes maybe on like my coffee break, I might want to watch a video on YouTube. I'm just kind of in the mood to watch something. Um, fun or lighthearted, but um, maybe some of the people that I subscribe to on YouTube haven't updated, and then you know you get lost to trying to search for a video that you're gonna like. But if you go to Mom TV, you can help support other moms and see content that they think that other moms are gonna enjoy. And so you could easily like today I watched a video that Nat from Twiniversity uploaded to Mom TV about picking out the right swimsuit for swimsuit season for your body type from Land's End, and that was a great video. And then there's always like funny baby videos on Mom TV, um, even if I add them, because they make me laugh. But there, there's always, there's something for everybody, every mom on Mom TV, and that's what I really like about it. And so I need more people to upload videos so I can have my coffee and be entertained in the afternoon. And, um, and if you have any suggestions for content, Elizabeth is the person. Um, Elizabeth, do you want to give away that last bag if you have to? Because I really don't want you to, but if, if you have to, I'm just going to go order my own. I'm going to order my own t-shirt then. <laughs> so um, some of you took part in the poll that we had open before the show started, and we're just asking how you take your coffee. So why don't you tell us how you take your coffee, and I will just randomly select somebody uh, who shares how they drink their coffee. For me, normally, I get my coffee iced, and I like it a little sweet and mostly dark, just a splash of non-fat milk, and I am good to go. And I, I drink my iced tea out of a bottle because um, I'm kind of, um, that's just me. Love my iced tea and my water. Um, 
So Elizabeth, do you think the rest of the office will um, be going back to work when we end this mom TV coffee break? Oh, they already did. They got tired of watching oh. me uh, drink delicious coffee while they just sit around because I wouldn't let them have any unless they came on camera with me. Oh, okay. Hey, I, I love that chalkboard wall behind you too. <laughs> I wonder who picked out that decor. <laughs> um, well, I want to thank everybody for joining us um, on this Life is Good coffee break. And um, Elizabeth, do you want to pick a winner? Yes, I picked Kelly Ann as the winner of our last uh, Life is Good gift bag. So Kelly, just email me elizabeth at bsnmedia.com. I put it in the chat and we will send it out to you. And then um, remember we did send out an email and I even told people about it before the chat began that if you tweeted about the show, we were going to pick a winner. So definitely keep an eye on Twitter because one more lucky person is going to win a gift bag for tweeting about the show. Um, well, great. Okay. Well, last bag, Maria, because I didn't want you to take it. I see how it is, Elizabeth. Just remember who signs your paycheck. That's all I got to say. You know, those twins are going to need you a college education one day. You did tweet about it. Maybe yeah. you'll be the lucky winner. Okay, there you go. Okay, <laughs> you guys. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for taking a break out of your day. And thanks to Life is Good Coffee for um, sponsoring this Mom TV Coffee Break. Okay, Elizabeth, get back to work now, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm coming back to the office. <laughs> okay. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.